So I just got the word that plants in Detroit are about to shut down and I'm about to hop on a conference call. But before I do, I thought I'd hop outside and share a few thoughts with you. Um, I'm an auto supplier in Detroit and uh, these are scary times for us and I know you as well, but I just want to reassure you that we've seen scary times before and from the start of our nation and each time since, every time we've been confronted with fear, we've risen to the occasion. Every time we've been confronted with evil, we've risen to the occasion. And every time we've been confronted with a common enemy like we are today, we've risen to the occasion. I don't believe that this occasion is any different. I believe that in future years, our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren are gonna to refer to 2020 as the year that coronavirus killed partisanship. That we as a nation came together and realized that the real enemy is not across the aisle, but in the air we breathe and understood that what's most important is not red and blue, but red, white, and blue. Where women and men recognize that we need each other. Where boomers and millennials recognize that we need each other. Where neighbors recognize that we need each other. It's times like these when we learn how similar and how vulnerable we are. This is a crisis that are gonna affect all of us. And we can't go around it. We can't go over it. We all have to go through it. But there's hope because throughout our nation's history on the other side of fear there's always been hope on the other side of tyranny there is freedom on the other side of bondage there's emancipation on the other side of the ocean there is that shining city on a hill and on the other side of social distancing there's civil discourse and my goodness we need that civil discourse right now more than we've needed a lot of things in a long time there are folks who've been laid off and don't know how they're gonna pay for dinner on Sunday. And there are small business owners who are both confronting, losing their life's work and employees who are like family to them in a matter of weeks. There's a lot we can do. We can wash our hands. Yes, we've heard that. We can stay inside. Yes, we've heard that. But I plan on praying. I plan on praying for our president and our governor and for all of our elected officials to make the right decisions for all Americans without regard for class or creed. I hope that for our sakes, they work together to solve this problem and do what's necessary to make sure that we never find ourselves in this position again. Through our faith in God and our love for each other, we will emerge from this crisis. One nation, under God, indivisible. Stay strong, Michigan. I love you. Let's fly.